Yo. What is up, guys? This is the Track Good Breaking 5 video. And today, uh, I figured I'd do an album review today. Because I'm, I've never done, I haven't done a video in three weeks again. So, uh, <laughs> first off, sorry about that. Second off, shut up. Anyway, um, was there a small mic? Oh, whatever, I'll deal with that. Anyway, purification through violence. Dying Fetus! Yeah, purification through violence of Dying Fetus. If you, if you notice as well, this is the um, original album cover, because this... This is... It's going to focus. Complete focus, man. Come on. Oh, it's not... Um, it's from Pulverizer Records. So this is from um, 1996, I want to say. Uh, I just have the date on somewhere. No, yeah, I think it's from 1996. That's what Spotify says anyways. Anyway, what do I think of it? I think it's a bloody good album. No single... There are no skips on this album. I'm just going to say it right now. And I'll tell you why. Because it's Dying Freaking Fetus. Dying Fetus are awesome! I'll go through... Um, I figured out... I mean, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll go through each track in... Actually, no, I'll just, I'll just start on the album cover. Itself. So, as you can see on my... Um, on my TV there. It, that's the 2010 version. Because that... Uh, is when they... That's when they published it via Relapse Records. This one here. It's from 1996. Because they were with Pulverizer Records at the time. Uh, they, I believe they left to um, Relapse Records immediately uh, like after this one. After this album. So that's good. Anyway. Uh, to start with the actual album cover itself. I think I think it's really good. I know I, don't, I know some people aren't typically a big fan of just the collage images. Because it looks more like a mood board than anything. But I honestly really like it. Like... It's got the it's got God putting the knife through the earth, which is a badass image. It's got the uh, it's got hold on, I'm uh, it's gonna focus. Oh, it's like zero point five. That's good. Yeah. Um, as you can see here, it's got the basic font. No need for any of that. Any not I mean not knocking the other logo, but like like the, I feel like the uh, the one in just impact font. This is an impact font. I don't think. I think this one makes more of an impact because like it doesn't say oh we need to be super aggressive with our logo. This just says, you know, we are dying fetus and we do not mess around. Um, it's got the UN soldier, point, you got the US uh, blue helmet holding the gun, which is good. It's got money, it's got blood and guts, which is, you know, always fun. Uh, there's money in the bottom corner, I think I've already pointed that out. And then there's a car up there, which is cool. Actually, is that a picture of Jesus? Is that God? I can't tell. Anyway. If we go to the back as well, oh, uh, we've got the track list. We've got uh, there's eight songs on it. Uh, so there's Blunt Force Trauma, Beating and Submission, Skull Fox, Permanently Disfigured, Raped on the Altar, Nothing Left to Pray For, Nocturnal Crucifixion, and Scum. Fuck the Week. Which is a cover or something. I can't remember what cover band it's from. Hold on a second. I'm just going to check what cover this is. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. Anyway, uh, whatever. Um, Moving on to the actual songs themselves. As I said previously, there are no skips on this, which is bloody cool because this album is amazing. So um, I figured I'd go through the f uh, each of the songs. Um, no, uh, I've just made a fool of myself here. Uh, pure, yeah, here we go. Purification for violence. Um, Blood Force Trauma. I I really like how this song starts. Um, hopefully, I won't get in trouble. With this. Uh, yeah, you probably can't. Oh well. Um, it sounds like a, bit, like, a, like a bunch of writhing like things, and I really like it. I really like the way it sounds. It sounds like, like a pack of like demons or something, which is really cool. Then there's a uh, what is it? Being in submission. Probably the uh, I've the intro to this one as well is really groovy. A lot of these songs are all very very groovy, which is what I which is quite nice. Um. I mean, I, I saw this as well. They're all very intense, which is, it's, it's, of course, it's good. Of course, of course, you're gonna want an intense metal song, so that's good. Um, as you can see on my, I have um, 
these far lights, and these what these are the far that I listen to the most primarily. Reason, um, they're both what I believe to be the album. Starting with um, Skull Fucked, Even though this is my, even though I just said this is my favorite song on this is one of my favorite songs on the album. I think it's one of the weaker ones. See, because it's 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 very very good instrumentally, but like about halfway through the song or near the end, it, um, it starts going about weed. Which is a really annoying transition because I, I don't think the lyrics of that section are very good, but it's still not skip worthy, which is again is good. Um, then permanently disfigured. This is also, again as you can work probably work out by the title. It's just pure violence, which is really good because I think it's a good song. Alright, I think it's one of my favorites. Um, because there's a section where ah oh, it's not um. Oh, well, I just looked at the Wikipedia page for this. I can't remember what the guy's name was. It wasn't Sean. Uh, oh, crap, I can't remember his name. Because because John John is the one John Gallagher, the one on the main of the lead guitar, is the one doing um like the proper deep girl was like. <coughs> no, I, I I'm not a vocalist. That's why that's so bad. Uh, yeah, he's the one who um. He's the one who does like the proper low ones. And then, uh, because Sean also does vocals like that, but he slows them up. They, they, I don't even know how to describe it. Hold on, I'll I'll get it up. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't get me put me in trouble with this. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, so so he, he does like he does like the proper high like demon like demon level high, which which I actually really appreciate because like it, it has a nice contrast between um, John's very low gutturals and oh crap I cannot remember this guy's name oh crap that's really annoying between on, on the basis girl of the basis girls which is good because like, I really like it. Then after this it is uh, Raped on the Altar, which is, you know, just the edgiest title conceived. Not that I'm complaining about it. I also think it's a good song. It's also a decent long, it's like it's like nearly four minutes. Obviously, obviously that's not long in terms of in the grand scheme of songs, but like still. This is a decently long song. What are you gonna do? Uh oh yeah, there's nothing left to pray for. Which is one of my favourites as well. Because, for many reasons, but there's a number of songs that are on this album that aren't just purely based on violence. Like I know the second half of, well, not second half, like the second, like the three quarters away, and a song "Skullfuck" turns into a song about weed and shit like that. But um, I, uh, uh, being into submission, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, being in submission, and nothing left to pray for. A song's about conflict. Which is actually nice. Um, and it's a good contrast between just the pure, like, ultra-violence. Which, again, I'm not complaining about. I'm not complaining about it at all. I'm just saying I like the contrast. Anyway. Um, yeah, as I said previously, this is the original album cover because it was released in 1996 for uh, uh, Pulverizer Records. Okay, like you can... Uh, I, know that my, I know that the zoom is not for that, that good on this thing. But yeah, that's just, I don't, like, it's cool. I'm not denying that that's not cool, because that's pretty cool. But like, why? <laughs> he's, got, he's got Jesus doing, like, the, the devil horns. <laughs> and it's, it's very funny. But overall, this is a very solid album. I would highly, highly recommend you pick it up if you find it somewhere. Whether that be on vinyl or, um... Yeah, whether that be on vinyl or CD or like Digipack or something, pick it up. It's a very, very good album from Dying Fetus. I highly recommend it. And also, what's good is, well, not good in my sense anyway, but because this is the 1996 version, this is still wrapped. I'm not sure if you can see it right there. There's an import sticker on there. Uh, this is still wrapped and it's from 1996, which is good, but I paid like 30 quid for it. Which I probably could have got a better deal for. So, 
yeah, that's, I mean, that's annoying, but, like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Complain? Why would you complain? Why would you do that? Why would you complain? Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm, also, right, um, I have this little CD, right, um, I'm debating, choosing number between one, one and two, because there's, uh, I've got another album that I've got that I want to review, um, that being the Suffer in Hell and Suffer in Heaven, um, double EP, that's, I also got the pre-order one for that, and, um, on vinyl, behind there, I can show you guys, yeah, it's behind there, but I, I keeping it hidden from the sunlight, because that's what it says to protect your vinyls from sunlight, even though it's still wrapped up. I need, I need to learn how to take care of those things. Uh, oh, and, uh, let's see if I can get it. Wrong way. And the somatic defilement from Whitechapel. So if you want, I'll review, I'll review both of those. If, I'll review both of those if you want me, sir. Although no one comments on my videos anyways. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, overall, I give this album a 10 out of 10. No skips on this album at all. Absolutely banger album. Yeah, anyway. You guys are probably tired of hearing um, me saying the word album bunch. So, uh, see you guys later. Uh, peace out. Bye-bye.